smashing his gavel a few times and then throwing it at you and saying, you're out of order. <laughs> the president or the presiding officer should require him to desist. It is perhaps true and more of the disorder and confusion of deliberative bodies is due to the violation of this order than any other cause. How obtained? For any purpose whatsoever, he must rise and address the chair. In your case, you might humbly say presiding officer um, to avoid those other anachronisms. Or address the chair in any way that is customary in the body. If the president recognizes him by calling his name or by introducing in any way that he may proceed, um, such an one has the floor and may proceed to introduce any matter of business. These are motions. If the presiding officer himself wishes to bring any proper communication to the attention of the body or to call attention to any matter, he has only to judge as to the proper time and ask the attention of the body to what he has to lay before it. For this purpose, he may, if he thinks best, interrupt one who has the floor. So don't be surprised if sometimes when you're speaking, the judge wants to talk and he just talks over you because he'll do that and he'll look at you very crossly if you don't shut up and let him talk. <laughs> Trust me, I know from experience. <laughs> and if you're not getting the message, he will actually say things like, <clears throat> <clears throat> you don't mind if I speak once in a while, do you? Trust me, I know from experience. <laughs> Uh, he should be very careful in doing this, lest he be guilty of discourtesy. There's our word again. Look it up. Learn it. Impress it upon your mind. Use it in your meeting on the 31st. Possibly provoke an appeal to the house against his intrusion. So even if the presiding officer is discourteous to you, you can still bring attention to that. You can, after the meet, you can file a paper against him and say, hey, that man was discourteous to me. Hmm. People don't understand how, what a huge, huge, huge pedestal they stand on when they assume these government positions, these public offices. It's not because he's a